Zola Wedding Website and RSPP Tutorial Hello and welcome to our channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a wedding website and RSPP in Zola. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on Zola, you could also use my affiliate link below the description where I earn a small commission with no additional cost to you and by using the link you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is Zola, it is a comprehensive platform designed to facilitate wedding planning and registry services in which it offers a range of features that allow couples to create personalized wedding websites, manage guest lists, and accurate gift registries. And the website templates provided by Zola are customizable, enabling users to reflect their unique style and story through various design options. In addition, wedding specification functionalities, Zola also includes planning tools, inspirational content, and a vendor marketplace where couples can connect with service providers. And now to create an account, just click the link in the description or you could also click the get started button on the top right corner and upon clicking on it, you will automatically be directed on this page. And from here, all you need to do is simply fill out the required information such as under get started. You can simply select the other question, where are you in the planning process? So let's say I'm going to choose newly engaged and exploring and click the next button below here to proceed. And after that, just enter here the basics info including the first name your partner's first name, partner's last name, and also the wedding meeting year. But you could also check the boxes that still were still deciding if you're not still sure to the wedding date. Or alternatively, you could also select here the wedding date on this calendar. And after filling out all of the required information, just click the next button below here to proceed. And which the next thing that you need to do is to simply enter here your email address and also generate your own password on this page. Then click the let's go button below to be proceed to the next step which is the finish up. In which all you need to do is simply enter here where are you getting married. Or you could also enter here the city. Or alternatively, you simply check the boxes below here that says we're still deciding. And after that, you simply enter here the number of guests or the guest count in here and click the next button to be proceed. Now under this finish up, you simply answer here the question where did you hear about Zola and click start planning button. And upon doing so, we will now be able to be directed on this dashboard of Zola.com in which once again, you will be able to go to this page once you click on this Zola.com this pre-wedding website section or option in here in which upon clicking on it, just fill out the record information again and now going back in this page, you could also navigate under this your design option including to customize your font and colors and if you choose what kind of website do you want to create with your single page or multi-page. Or alternatively, you could also simply click this change design button if you also want to start choosing your own design in here. In which you will be able to see a variety of design that you can choose from with a variety of colors and different layout in this page. So kind of select any of this and click the save button on the top right corner to save the changes. Now moving on to proceed editing the website, just click this edit website button on the left side panel. We have here home, schedule, travel, registry, and many more. That we can start customizing and navigate. Now starting to this home page, by clicking on it, we will be able to see here the section that we can choose to customize with here header to enter here or customize this welcome message that says we're getting married. For example, I'm going to enter here. This is forever and ever. And it will show you on the right side panel the changes. Then below you could also navigate to change the names the color and even the wedding details in here and those details including your full name, your partner's full name and even your wedding date and aside from that below here you could even add a video by clicking this add a video button in which it will show you on this pop-up window that you can simply paste the youtube url and add a caption below here or alternatively aside from that you could even add a story if you want to or browse photos to upload from your computer files from dropbox Google photos and many more. But you also need to make sure that the images that you will upload has 700 pixel or much higher than that. Now moving on, aside from that under this schedule section, we can even add a header and also this event by choosing here the event type and also the event name in here. Then we can simply add here the start date, start time, end date, and the end time. And even select the venue name in here including the address and many more. So that's basically the schedule section that we can navigate and customize. Now under this travel section, you could also add here places to travel for your visitors 
such as dot here hotel including the hotel name hotel website discount code and many more and even this house rental flight basically filling out all of the required information in here and you could also add here a places to stay including shuttle train and travel note now going back on this page aside from travel section you could also navigate here this registry by clicking on it in which from here it will allow you to create a personalized wish list that includes a variety of gift types such as physical items, digital gift cards, and cash funds for specific goals like honeymoons or home renovations. So from here you can also create your own checklist or choosing a different kind of gift that you want to receive on your wedding. And as you can see on the left side panel we appear a variety of category to choose from. And for example we're going to choose some of these gifts and click add to registry if you want to or to make it add to your wish list, in which this is basically what the visitor will see if they try to decide which one or which kind of item they want to be gift to you as your wedding gift. And from here you can even choose your own collection, in which this flexibility is particularly beneficial for modern couples who may already possess many household essentials, enabling them to request financial contributions toward experiences or larger purchases instead of traditional gifts. And also guests can easily navigate the registry to select gifts which are tracked through Zola's platform. And for instance, we want to add this to our registry by clicking this add to registry button right here. It will automatically add to our registry. And once added, you will be able to see on the right side panel the list. So you can set some of this as your most wanted gift or group gift if you want to. And click the save button to proceed. Now moving on aside from that, let's say we're going to choose another kind of gift we want to receive in our wedding. Let's say this one. Just simply choose here the variation that you prefer and proceed by clicking Add to Registry if you want to. But make sure that you also label it as your most wanted or also the group gift that you prefer. And if you're now done, you can now proceed by clicking the preview button in the top right corner in order to preview what your registry looks like as a guest. In which from here it will show us the list in here. So this is basically the list in which the visitor can choose which kind of item they want to buy or purchase it for you as your wedding gift. Now going back on this page right here aside from this registry section, we could also navigate here this wedding party by clicking on it. From here we can add a person by clicking on it and fill out all the required information including the name, their role, description and many more. And also in here, we could also navigate and customize the gallery section where we could also upload or add a video and photos that we prefer. Now under this things to do section, from here you can add a recommendation, either a place for a guest to visit, or you could also enter here manually by filling out the required information in here. Moving on to other sections such as FAQs and RSPP. Under this FAQ you could also add your frequently asked question that you prefer. Now under this RSPP from here, if you want to make it hidden or public, you could do so and start creating an event in here. Then during here the event type, for example, I'm going to choose this reception and just fill out the required information or we could also add the event details that you prefer. In which this functionality allows guests to respond to invitations online which simplifies tracking attendance and managing guest lists. And when a guest visit the couple's wedding website, they can easily find the RSPP section where they enter their names as listed on the invitation, select whether they will attend and provide additional information such as meal preferences or dietary restrictions. And if you're not done filling out the required information and navigating and customizing your own website, just click the publish button on the top right corner to proceed. But overall, that is just basically how you can create wedding website in RSPP on Zola. Thank you.